you want to print your AutoCAD drawings without problems. But the lessons that you learned at school are not enough. We're going to teach you three different ways to print in AutoCAD 2023. So the first method or technique is to print from model space. Hi there. Welcome to the Lazy Learning Show, where we teach you AutoCAD so you can save time, effort, and money. So as you can see over here on the left down corner, it says model and is selected. So sometimes we need to print from model space so we can have a reference of our drawing. So on the ribbon, there is an output tab. So if we click on it, we will have the option over here to plot. So plot or print, people use the term, so it doesn't really matter, it is the same. So you can click plot or you can use the shortcut, control P. So you can see now that I will have the following dialog box. Of course, I want to continue to a plot single sheet over here. So I'm gonna click, do not show me this again. I'm going to click again, continue to plot single sheet. And then we will have the plot dialog box. Let's select our printer from here by expanding this. And my printer is this one, the 3640 series. So I'm going to select that. And then I will need to pick my paper size 11 by 17. And then where it says plot area, we will need the window option. Why? Well, let me move this over here. And what I'm trying to print here is only this drawing, not both floor plans. So that's why we need the window option. So let's click center the plot. So this, the plot is, is on the center. And fit to paper, that's fine because usually from model space, we don't print at one to one scale. We, Usually we print from model only for a reference. If we're working on a project and we need to have it print. Over here on the plot style table, if we click on it, right now it says none. But most of the time, if you are working in an office, they will have their own plot style or also called CTB file. For instance, for my company or channel, I can have a CTV called LazyArchitecto.ctv. So I will be able to select it. But of course, if you don't have, you will have to pick the monochrome CTV. And this is to have your final print black and white, which is most of the time what we do in AutoCAD. So assign this process table to all layouts. I would say no for now. And then, of course, as any other printing program, we we'll have the portrait or landscape options. So once we do that, it's always a good recommendation to do a preview before you print. So let's do that by clicking on the preview option. And you can see that nothing is showing up. So let's fix that. And if we go over here, we have a couple of options. Of course, if we like what we see, we can simply plot from this bottom, but since we don't want that, we're going to also cancel or close the preview. So we are still on the printing option. And of course, remember I told you I have two drawings. I only want to print this for reference. This is the second floor plan and this is the first floor plan. So how I'm going to do it is we need to specify the window by clicking over here. So window and then following the instructions on the command line. It says specify first corner. Okay, so I'm gonna specify my first corner here, click. And then it says specify opposite corner would be over here, click. And now if I do again a preview by clicking the preview option, you can see that my drawing now fits perfectly on my screen. And if this is what I like, I can simply hit the print option over here to plot my drawing to 11 by 17 inches sheet. You can see over here, and that's how you print in AutoCAD from model space. That's the first technique that you need to know on an office environment. For the second method, let's go to paper space. So 
Right now we are on model, you can see over here. To go to paper space, let's simply click on this other layout and you will see that now we are on a different environment. And if you are very, very new to AutoCAD, a quick summary between the difference of model and paper space. On model space is where you will draw most of your objects, your plans, your elevations, your sections, and so on. And if you are ready to print, you will go to paper space where we are right now. So that's where you will set up your settings for printing and how you will print. But of course, sometimes you need still to print from model space. So that's what I show you the first technique. So for the second technique on how to print in AutoCAD, we are gonna do it from paper space. I'm gonna use the same shortcut, Control P. Like so to open the plot dialog box again, but remember we are in paper space now. Let's pick a printer, like so. It's asking for the size of the layout. Simply click OK. And then the paper size, I'm going to pick 11 by 17 also. Now, this area where it says plot area, I want to pick not the window option this time, but extends option. Why? Because this will center and extend your drawing to fit the paper. So over here, again, we need the center, the plot. And then over here, it says plot to scale. I'm going to check fit to paper because in this case, I don't care about the scale of my drawing. This is again to print this 11 by 17 as a reference. If I need to print a drawing to scale, that's the third method that I'm gonna teach you in a second. So, so let's do fit to paper to print to an 11 by 17 inches sheet. And of course, scale line weight, that's always important to check. So it prints darker or lighter. For the plot style, let's select. And if we have a company CTV file, we can use it, but we're gonna use monochrome to print black and white. And let's do a preview really quick. So preview. And yeah, if this is what we like, what we see right now, we can simply hit the print option or plot over here, this icon, and you will be able to print your drawing at 11 by 17 inches from paper space. So that's the second technique that you need to know to print in a professional environment. And for the third technique, which is how to print in AutoCAD to scale. So that's very important because most of the time you need to print these drawings to scale so that people can print it and use a scale like this and they will be able to figure out dimensions and sizes of objects. So I'm gonna go to this other layout or paper space by clicking on it. And for this specific example, let's say you have an empty paper space or layout like this. How you're gonna be able to print to scale. So in order to do that, we're gonna need a title block and a viewport. So if you don't have a title block, what you can do is go over here on the ACAT icon and click on it to open a new drawing. So once you do that, you will have these different templates that AutoCAD give you. And for this example, I'm gonna use the Imperial Architecture units because I am in the United States, but you can pick in metric architecture if your units are metric. So I'm gonna pick that and click open. And I will have a title block over here that I can simply copy and reuse on my drawing. However, I do have a title block. So I'm gonna go and open that drawing where my title block is by clicking again on this AutoCAD icon and then select my title book like this. So I'm gonna open that drawing and you can see I have an 11 by 17 title block. So again, if you have a drawing where you already have a title block, you can simply copy and reuse it. So to copy, I'm gonna use the Control, Shift and C option. And this is a nice technique to copy objects from a base point. 
So if you see over here, it says specify base point. So my base point is going to be on this corner. So click. And then I don't need this title block anymore. So I can close this drawing from this X icon. And I don't want to save the changes. So I'm going to click no. So again, I don't need this anymore. This is in case that you don't have a title block. So I'm going to close and say no to save it. So over here, back on my drawing, I'm going to simply paste the title block with control V on my keyboard. And then what I like to do always is paste it at zero comma zero origin point. And then of course, press enter. So you see my title block is right here on this corner, very, very tiny. So what we need to do is reduce the size of this paper. This is like an electronic paper. So it, right now it's really, really big comparing to our title block. So how do we do that? Well, we can go over here on the layout tab and do right click. And then we'll have all of these different options. So the option that we need is page setup manager. So once we select that, we're going to have these options and you can see that the plot size or in other words, the paper size, it's 1,600 and it's in pixels. So that's not the correct size. So let's modify that by clicking on the modify tab. And then over here, of course, the printer, let's select again our printer. In my case would be this printer. And for the paper size, we can select the default. That's not a problem because we can specify the paper size here again by expanding the paper size option. And I'm going to pick 11 by 17. Now, remember for the last two previous techniques, we didn't care about printing to scale, but for this one we do. So the important part that you need to know is on the plot area, we're going to pick the extends option, center the plot, and over here, make sure that scale is set one to one and of course don't ever check this fit to paper because we want this to print to scale so one to one that's the important part here that you need to check scan lightweights that's fine and then for my plot style of course you can pick a ctv file if you have one or monochrome if you don't to print black and white and let's do a preview by clicking over here preview and of course, you can see that your title block is showing right there. So let's click close now. And then let's click OK. Look what happened when I click OK. So your paper now, your digital white paper now fits exactly your title block. So that means that the paper size now it's 11 by 17 inches. So let's click close. And the final step here is how to bring your drawing from model space into paper space. In order to do that, we're going to need a viewport. So a viewport is simply a window that you create to be able to see through model space. So to create a viewport, we simply use the shortcut MV in AutoCAD. So once we press enter, of course, we don't know anything about AutoCAD because we are learning here in this show, right? So let's follow the instructions on the command line. And it says specify corner of viewport. Okay, I want my window or viewport to be from this corner. And then again, the command line is saying specify opposite corner. So I'm gonna specify my opposite corner over here on by clicking like so. And boom, your drawing now shows up. However, we're still missing an important step here in order to print to scale in AutoCAD. And the step is that you need to select your viewport. So select your viewport and change the scale over here. Right now, AutoCAD is giving you a random scale, a scale of 0, 0, 0.0 and so on. So double click will get us inside the viewport and we can change the scale also from here. So to change the scale, simply click on this option and then we will select a scale that 
whoever prints our drawing right physically will be able to use a scale again like this and be able to get dimensions and distances and sizes of objects so that's why we need to pick scale like this like 316 one quarter and so on let's try the 316 inches by clicking on it and you can see that still this is a little bigger so let's pick another one and let's try one eighth and boom this is how i like it. one eighth scale so finally let's lock our viewport by clicking this option over here so that way we don't mess up our viewport maybe by accident so to get out of my viewport i can simply double click over here outside the viewport double click and then i will be able to print again my drawing with control p as we previously did and of course since we already set up our settings on the page setup we don't need to worry about anything at this moment because we already did that so let's do a preview and as you can see you will be able to print your drawing nicely by simply clicking the plot icon over here so yeah those are three different techniques on how to print your drawings in AutoCAD so what do you think